quarter final number two of memory league season 10 two u.s competitors alex marlin on the left three times world memory champion and john graham on the right a multiple national champion here about to prepare for the first game which is chosen by john graham and he decided to go with images on on images he's very strong he has pretty pretty good times on images and you will see that already in the first run here so the task is if you don't know that is to memorize 30 image in the right order as fast as you can and john memorizes then here in 13.6 seconds alex takes his time and in the in the end alex uses all the 60 seconds but the deal is if you get everything correct within 60 seconds and your opponent doesn't get everything correct then you would win so john needs to get all of them correct to win this game and here the first mistake no no mistake just a misclick and john put in everything 30 for john brilliant time and then the first point for john 1-0 lead next choice by alex and he chooses cards you have to memorize a deck of 52 cards as fast as you can and alex is one of the best in the world in doing so and here you see him going for a nice time of 16.86 seconds john playing it safe and uh, during the recall nothing really happens here alex did everything correct john with a mistake here memorizing the cards in 52 55 seconds but that doesn't matter because alex has everything correct so it's a drawn match at this point and the next cho choice is then by john and this choice was national names there's also international names but in this case you can see that national names names are way easier than in the international format of this discipline and uh, both are quite strong on names so both are capable of memorizing all the 30 possible names within 60 seconds perfectly and then only the time would decide who gets the win in this game because it's always like that if the score is a draw then the time counts if someone has a better score than the other one then the score counts and we are going into the recall here it the situation right now 28 already for john john with 60 seconds alex with 53 seconds that means if alex gets everything correct john here with 29 then alex definitely would win now alex needs 29 to win the game because the score would be a draw then but here john goes with 30 so now alex needs 30 to win that then he would have the better time 29 and 30 what a performance here from both of them no chance here for john to win it in the end because alex was a perfect 30 as well as john with the perfect 30 that's something what you really see not that often so well done both of you 2-1 for alex so with alex being in the lead john chooses numbers and alex also very very strong on numbers but also so is john and the question is who goes faster here and it was a very close game time wise john speeded up in the end here and finished first with 18.12 seconds versus 19.16 and we will fast forward the recall here a bit you can see alex isn't typing anything in the beginning but then starts typing very fast with one mistake here a uh, three digit gap here so 77 only but john has a lot of gaps here he is working on them and is filling one by one but he would need to fill in as many gaps to get at least 77 to beat alex here and in the end alex isn't capable of managing to get 80 here so if you can say always if but if john would have gone for 60 seconds and would have gotten 80 digits then he would have won that but you'd never know that so good times from both but mistakes for both so then words again and alex went for a bit of a faster time here um, john just below 60 seconds so the same story if the score would be a draw 
then Alex would win by time. So that's a slight advantage here. And we are going into the recall here. Last words by Alex typed incorrectly. Then he is always, as always going through the list of all words before he starts typing. Now John starts typing here in the end, also putting in the last words first as many competitors are doing that. And then here is a mistake. And this mistake is very interesting because uh, look at this. This is bent versus bend. So with a T and a D. And uh, the funny thing about that is that you will see Alex doing the same mistakes in a couple of uh, seconds. So going into the recall here of uh, both, Alex also with the same mistake at the end. And it's going up and down here. John was 48. Now John winning. But if Alex gets one more, now Alex winning because of the better time. So 10 seconds to go. Can John fix one more word or will Alex miscorrect something in the end? So it ends with a win for Alex. And that's a 4-1 for Alex already. Such a close game. You can see Alex shaking his head here. And then another words game. That's already game number six. And that was not so close. So... I'm jumping right in to the end here. Alex winning the next game also on words and that's a 5-1 and he's with match points for Alex Mullen at this stage here. 49 to 45 and the last discipline, if it is the last discipline, would be numbers. Alex again with his usual strategy going fast but not super fast. The question was would John also go again for a fast time or would he play it more safe this time? And Alex was 18.68 and you see John playing it safe, reviewing here. So if Alex has a mistake, John might have a chance to get this point here and close the game a bit at least to 5-2. Um, but Alex needs to get everything correct and then he would have one. Let's take a look on the recall here. So on the right, Alex Mullen typing very fast. So far, everything green. He needs to get everything correct. And then he wins and advances to the semifinal, no matter what John is doing here. And Alex is typing so fast here. Not even 30 seconds, but there is a mistake. There's 8-6 instead of 6-8. So that's a chance for John here again. Grabbing something if he gets everything correct, he would get this game won. And Alex does not correct these two digits. At least it looks like that at this point. And while we are waiting for Alex to correct his mistake here, John was also doing a mistake. So 4 3 versus 3 4. And that means if he gets everything else correct right now, then he would only be up to 77. And he was hesitating again here with three digits, putting in everything else afterwards, being up to 74. And closing the gap, being up to 77. But he needs to figure that out. And that is a missed chance here for John to come back to the game. He missed these two digits. And in 57 seconds, you should have 80 correct if you want to get a point here against Alex. So Alex wins this match 6-1 and John is commenting here on his game. Always double check your spelling and your typing. Take that advice, guys. Take that advice. Double check your typing. Um, I just like flashed through the images. I wasn't really paying attention to the digits. So I just, it looked good, but it wasn't. I mean, bent is just the adjective version of bend, which is the verb for version. I don't know. I mean, it's a past tense. Or yeah, well, it's more, more past, or, yeah, more past tense, I guess. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I think it's just probably a coincidence that we both both did that. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. I might change my name. I might be an anonymous person, like batman or something next season yeah. i might wear a mask next season so no one knows who i am so a bit of joking here by john in the end referring to the other match by bruce w the mysterious bruce w and if you want to watch that just click the link in the info box and uh, thank you very much for watching and congratulations for alex